Hello everybody, it's Kathy here. Welcome to today's live stream. It's great to um, be here. Um, I'm Kathy Ballard, I'm a transformation coach, I'm a spiritual teacher, I'm a healer and I'm a channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about um, breaking through it, um, it is a martial arts technique that I experienced and it's about breaking through your abundance blocks and um, so your abundance blocks and like that that glass ceiling that we perceive and um, hi Inga so that that glass ceiling is that invisible barrier that we believe that we can't get past and this could be in uh, like in relationships so it could be in your health or it could be in your work it could be uh, in your finances it could be anything really but it, it sort of comes from your limiting beliefs about what you think is possible how much um, it's like all the conclusions and the judgments and the sense of what you believe is uh, achievable for yourself and these are all these patterns that we have laid down in our unconscious minds oh thanks for all the hearts hi linda so um so we, we if because we're not aware of them we can't see them so the, hence the invisible glass ceiling but they are there and um these are the things that, that say i'm not good enough i can't make it i don't have what it takes um this can happen for other people but not me um i'm not i'm not beautiful enough i'm not you know you get the picture all all the chatter that um and it's quite often very hidden and perceptible but it's still there it still exists in our psyche and it's like this this is like the uh the ex it's it's the edges or the identity of your small self that keeps you sort of in this uh, cage really of your life you can see all the possibilities for yourself but because these barriers are in there that you can't see it's like you you keep you know banging your head against it so i wanted to share something uh that i did and maybe you've experienced this, this yourself and i mean when i remembered this for myself it was like oh of course i forgot about that that's so that's so powerful so this was um it was a roof tile uh ex experience breaking breaking a roof tile so here's the tile i had i don't know if you can see that it's quite thick it's about <laughs> solid and uh essentially what i discovered was my block was rejection and so what we did was we wrote rejection on on one side of it and then you wrote your dreams or what it is was your goal on the other and the whole purpose of or uh the way that you break this like you, you use your hand to chop through it as a karate chop but the it's really important like uh they so let me try and demonstrate so when you're trying to break the tile your mind would think okay i've got to focus on it to break it but what you actually have to do is you have to focus here so you don't focus on the block you focus through the block and then the energy that you're bringing kind of goes if you think about um quantum physics everything is energy if you are directing energy with your mind with your intention and you're focusing through here it's almost like you're moving the energy through that obstacle to get to where you want to go so so that was the theory <laughs> and then i had uh, i think i had it across two chairs and at one point i had somebody holding it for me and the tendency that i found was that every time i went to do the the chop um it's like my mind would go oh it's a solid object and then it would hit the solid objects and uh i i knew the theory <laughs> i knew that we meant to focus through it but my mind couldn't stop once i was doing you know uh once i'd started my action of that karate chop it would hit the bloody object and i oh, my arm was <laughs> my hand it was black and blue i was thinking I, i'm i'm very determined and persistent so um which is uh hi Fidelma, hi Sonia. Uh which is one of my good traits, you know. So 
there I was with this like real bruised hand and then everyone else in the workshop they're going to lunch and I'm thinking I I'm not being left here on my own and I just <laughs> went straight straight through the tile without thinking and uh and it broke in two and so for me that was a massive analogy of you know when we're wanting to create something in our lives when we're focusing on um you know we really want to achieve something or we want to create something in our business or in our personal life whether it's a relationship or improved health or you know just reaching certain health goals um creating and drawing in more clients whatever it might be you have to focus rather than focusing on the things that aren't working and then trying to overcome those or make up for those or work on those that's a bit like you're you're you know you're, you're banging against the wall you're focusing on the lack essentially all your energy is focused into it and so of course where you're focusing that's what you perpetuate so you create more of it you have to a bit like you know for me when it was a question of well I'm focusing now on lunch and I went straight through the block uh, we need to do this we need to have okay here's what I'm working on we need to have our focus down there of where we want to go and allow your natural abilities your the the energy and power that you are to carry you forward to that so whenever you have uh, this is what's really important to have uh, like holidays and all kinds of other really nice things in your calendar so that you can you might be working on something and yes it's about obviously taking action but you know something down there is coming up that you're really excited about and and that keeps your energy high it gives you something to really look forward to and it's important for you to you know keep a dream journal not as in um you know the, the strange things that might have happened in your subconscious but i mean your visioning journal uh spending time daydreaming about what you want to do in your life making your life really rich because all of that is things and oh and then of course importantly seeing yourself as being that living it being it feeling it seeing it because that is what changes your energy and it's it's in the future so having um for example a business uh if you've got a business goal like you're wanting to fill a program for example or attract a certain number of clients then you might have a whole bunch of actions that you're working on to to complete that but what's next where do you want that to go next what would make you feel really excited and happy uh, beyond that and that's where you want to focus and it's like trusting and allowing that uh, that your natural genius will know what to do uh, and carry you through what's uh, all, all the sort of things in front of you it's a little bit like what I was talking about in last week's live stream about uh, the about the driving analogy you need to focus in the distance where you want to go and not worry about all the bumps in the road on the way that's immediately in front of the car we need to just keep focusing where we would love to go something that makes our hearts really sing and um, you know you ha you have everything inside you to carry you through that so it's, it is really about trusting the process so if you've got any comments or questions about that i'd love to hear them so that's it for me from that's it from me for today and i will see you all next time take care bye